What's going on, YouTube? This is SG1 Sports, and we've got our Week 9 College Football Preview here today. I'm going to be going through all the, the games in the Power 5, uh, starting with a Thursday night game, a game that doesn't you don't think it's going to be very close, but you never know. Thursday night games sometimes are, are a little bit wacky, but Stanford is on the road at Oregon State. This one's ESPN Thursday night, 9 o'clock Eastern. Stanford a 23-point favorite. Uh, and I think that's, you know, I think they win by more than that, honestly. Uh, Bryce Love has been running all over everybody. He did get injured in in uh, their last game. I don't know for sure what his status is. Uh, even without him, I think they win this game easily. Oregon State uh, has proven to be, you know, the worst team in the Pac-12. Uh, so I don't expect this to be a close game at all. I think Stanford rolls uh, in this one. And then we get a, a fairly interesting game on Friday night as well. And the spread is interesting to be in this game. Uh, we've got Florida State at Boston College. Florida State just a two and a half point favorite, probably because Boston College uh, is coming off a couple of, of nice wins. They beat Louisville, then they beat uh, Virginia last week. ESPN Friday night, eight o'clock Eastern. Uh, this will be, I think, a good game. I think Florida State wins it. This team is really just desperate for a win right now. Um, they just, I mean, they've had a tough, tough schedule. It's, I don't think they're they're. Their record really shows what kind of team they are. I don't think they're a, a two and four team. It's just been a tough schedule so far. Losing Jean, DeAndre Francois obviously did not help, but I like them to win this game. Uh, let's move it on now to Oklahoma State and West Virginia. This should be a really good game. ABC Saturday, 12 o'clock Eastern. Uh, you know, Oklahoma State really struggled on offense against Texas. They also struggled against TCU back several weeks ago. West Virginia. Hasn't really beaten anybody. I know a lot of people think I'm, I'm way too low on them on my on my uh, playoff projections. But their best win right now is Texas Tech. And outside of that, they really don't have uh, any good wins at all. So I think, you know, we really find out a lot about these two teams. But I do think it'll be a close game. It'll be a shootout. Uh, but I like Oklahoma State to go on the road and pull it off, even though I did pick West Virginia on my midseason predictions. Um, well, yeah, we'll go, we'll go West Virginia. I'm going to go West Virginia instead um, for now. I don't know. We'll see. Fox, Saturday, 3.30 Eastern, the game of the week. It's Penn State at Ohio State. Oh, man, this is going to be a great game. I cannot wait to watch this one. Uh, Saquon Barkley, how is he going to do against that Ohio State defense? They're pretty good against the run. Um, so we will see. Uh, I think it's going to be a low-scoring game, honestly. I think both defenses are underrated. I think they're going to play really well in this game, keep it low-scoring. Uh, I'm going to say because Ohio State's playing at home, they find a way to win it late. But I wouldn't be surprised if Penn State pulls this one off. This is a really good football team. I think people finally realize that after what they did to Michigan last week. How about CBS Saturday, 3.30 Eastern, Georgia versus Florida? Uh, we talked about this on the Upset Alert video. Uh, in this rivalry, you just never know what to expect. We've seen close games. We've seen blowouts. We've seen games where we thought it was going to be an evenly matched game and one team blew the other team out. Uh, I think what really helps Florida is the bye week. They had two weeks to prepare for this game. I think uh, McIlwain will have some some wrinkles in there for the offense to at least hang around in this game and, until halftime. But in the end, I think Georgia probably pulls away. Uh, they just look like a much better team right now. Uh, so I do think they win it. How about this one? TCU at Iowa State. Man, this 330 schedule is loaded this week. Iowa State looking to pull off an upset. Uh, and again, if they can win this game, you have to really, I mean, really start looking at this team as a serious contender in the Big 12. They've already beat Oklahoma. If they go out and beat TCU, arguably the two best teams in the Big 12, wow, what a turnaround it would be for Iowa State uh, after losing a couple of games early in the season. I don't know if they have enough to win this game. They're playing at home. They'll be fired up. I think because of that, they may keep it close. But I do think TCU wins it by at least a touchdown. This TCU team is legit. Um, I think they have a chance maybe to get to the playoffs. Um, we'll see. North Carolina State at Notre Dame. This another 3:30 Eastern game. I'm telling you, this schedule is absolutely loaded uh, for the for this time slot. This one's on NBC. Notre Dame a seven and a half point favorite. We talked about this one on the Upset Alert video as well. Do we really know that Notre Dame is this good uh, because of some of the teams they beat that? Those are teams we really don't know about. So we shall see. I think it's going to be a good game. I think it could go either way. Uh, playing at home, I guess I'm going to give Notre Dame the slight edge. Brandon Wimbush makes a play late with his legs, and Notre Dame wins this one. But, again, I could see it going either way. And NC State, if they can win it, they're going to be a serious playoff contender. 
UCLA at Washington. We haven't really seen Washington uh, since that Arizona State game. So now that they play a pretty good opponent and Josh Rosen at quarterback at UCLA, how are they going to do? How are they going to fare? Um, are they going to be fired up from that loss? Are they going to be ready to go? I don't know. This one is, is tough to call. Uh, I do think they win this game, but as far as, you know, do they go out and make a statement and blow them out? I don't think so. I think Josh Rosen scores some points uh, with this UCLA offense. I think they keep it fairly close. So against the spread, I like UCLA in this game. I really do. Um, you know, but I think still a 7-10 to 10 point win for, for uh, Washington. I do think it'll be a fun game, though. ESPN. Here we go again. Saturday, 3.30 Eastern. And this is one I think Northwestern is going to pull off the upset. It's pretty much even as far as the spread goes. Uh, but Mich Michigan State, I still am not sold on this team. They, did, they didn't look good at all against Indiana last week. They did find a way to win that game. Uh, but again, I'm just not sold on this Michigan State team. Are they really that good? Uh, there's a lot of question marks. We'll see. I think this is a huge game for them. But I like Northwestern to get it. They've been playing a lot better uh, the last few weeks. Big one over Iowa last week. So I like I like Northwestern to pull off the win here. Uh, ACC Network Saturday, 720 Eastern. It's rare you get a night game here on the ACC Network. Duke at Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech, 16-point favorites. Virginia Tech has been rolling as of late. You know They had that loss to Clemson, but they have played really well since then. And I like them to win this one. Um, but 16 points is a pretty big spread. Duke's not a bad team at all. Uh, I think this is about a 14 to 17 point game. So right there around that 16 point range. Uh, I don't know. I probably would stay away if I was going to bet on this game. Uh, because it's, it's going to be, I think, very close to that 16 point mark. But I do, like, I do think Virginia Tech wins this game. Well, let's keep it going now. Georgia Tech at Clemson. We talked about this one on the Upset Alert video. I really feel like Clemson's going to win this game. I think their defensive line is, is going to get get into the backfield, cause havoc, and I don't think Georgia Tech's really going to get that triple option going against them. But you never know. I mean, it's it's an interesting one to watch. How does Clemson bounce back after that loss? Will Kelly Bryant be healthy? Um, if Clemson plays up to their, their standards, they win and they cover easily. I'd say they would win by at least 21 points. But, you know, if it's a mental thing and they're still kind of uh, in a little bit of a hangover from that, that last game, you never know. It could wind up being a close one. Uh, ABC or ESPN2, Saturday night, 8 o'clock Eastern. It's Texas Tech at Oklahoma. Oklahoma, 19.5 point favorite. I definitely like Texas Tech against the spread. We've seen it all year long. Oklahoma has struggled to put teams away. They struggled against Kansas State last week. They struggled against Baylor. I mean, uh, we have seen that time and time again with this Oklahoma team. It's really, I think, part of what kept them out of the playoffs last year uh, was all their close games. So we'll see uh, if they can maybe turn it on and get a big win here. But I like Texas Tech to keep this game close. I think it's you know a, a one, one or two possession game. But Baker Mayfield makes a play late to, uh, to get Oklahoma the win. Pac-12 Network, Saturday, 930 Eastern, Washington State at Arizona. Arizona coming in one of the hottest teams in college football. And I like them to win this game. I really do. Uh, playing at home, uh, the, the freshman quarterback there, I think that, that they get this win. I think Washington State uh, is still maybe a little bit overrated. They had that big win against USC, another team that may be overrated at this point. So I like Arizona to get this win, get an upset at home. It won't be much of an upset, just a two-and-a-half point spread. Uh, but Washington State, we could, you know, are we going to see that Washington State team we saw against Cal or they just played terrible? Uh, I think that's very possible, and I do like Arizona to win this game. USC at Arizona State. USC a three-point favorite on the road. This one's on ESPN Saturday night, 1045 Eastern. This should be a good one. Arizona State is another team that's coming in hot. Big one over Utah last week. They got the one over Washington. I was high on this team in the preseason. I, knew, I thought they had a lot of talent and had a chance to make some noise in the Pac-12 South. And you'd have to look at it. They're not they're not out of the race in the Pac-12 South. They've got a legitimate chance, Arizona and Arizona State, uh, to win that South. So this is a huge game for them. USC with a loss. Uh, they may be out of it if they lose this one. Uh, we'll see. But I think that's going to be a, a good game. Uh, man, I, I can't make a call on it, though. It's, it's just too close for me. ACC Network, Saturday, 12-20 Eastern, Louisville at Wake Forest. Wake Forest, a three-point underdog at home. Louisville has been a tough team to figure out. We've seen them. Uh, they played really well against Florida State last week. And then we've seen them, you know, against Boston College. Their defense was absolutely horrible. 
I think they've learned from that game. I think they're going to bounce back. I think they're going to get this win. I think that, that Florida State win for them was huge for their confidence. I think it's it's going to propel them to have a, a much better second half to the season compared to you know what they did last year. They kind of fell apart down the stretch. So I like Louisville to win this game, and I like them to cover the three points. Wake Forest has been struggling a little bit lately. Still a good team, though. Uh, we'll see what happens. ESPNU, Saturday, 12 o'clock Eastern. Baylor hosts Texas. Texas is a 7.5-point favorite. Um, can they get that offense going? I think Baylor is the perfect team to get it going against. So I like Texas to win this game and cover uh, as well. I think they uh, get a big one. Mississippi State at Texas A&M. This one is even. ESPN Saturday, 7-15 Eastern. Going to be a great game. Oh, I, It's tough to make a call on this one as well. We'll go with the Aggies because they are playing at home. Mississippi State's coming off a big win over Kentucky, though. ESPN Saturday, 12 o'clock Eastern. Wisconsin against Illinois. Wisconsin 26 point favorites in this game. Uh, but they've, you know, they've really struggled in the first half of games. We'll see if they can get a better start in this one. I think they do find a way to cover that 26 points. Miami against North Carolina. This one should be a big time blowout. ESPN 2, Saturday, 12 o'clock Eastern. Um, yeah, I like Miami to finally get a big convincing win, and they win this one by at least 21. Virginia at Pitt, Saturday, 1230 Eastern. Pittsburgh, a three-point favorite. Could they finally get an ACC win? Uh, I don't think so. I think Virginia bounces back and gets this win. Pittsburgh just has a lot of problems. Um, but it's, it's one of those I think that could go either way. FS1, Saturday, 3, 3 o'clock Eastern. Kansas State at Kansas. I like Kansas State to win this game uh, fairly easily. It, it may be a 21-point game. If we're going against the spread, I might go with Kansas here. It is a rivalry game, so they should be fired up at home for this one. Big Ten Network, Saturday, 12 o'clock Eastern. we got Rutgers at Michigan. Michigan, a 23.5-point favorite. And I like them to win this one big. I think they uh, they really play inspired football from here on out. Uh, and I think they get a big win here, and they do cover that 23.5 points. I know that's a lot of points, but I think they're going to get it done. Big Ten Network, Saturday, 3.30 Eastern, Indiana at Maryland. Uh, give me Indiana on the road. I think they get this win. Uh, and I think they cover the four points. They've been very close to breaking through all season long. Minnesota at Iowa, FS1 Saturday, 6.30 Eastern. Iowa, an eight-point favorite. I think they bounce back from that loss to Northwestern. I think they win this one. Um, Minnesota has really struggled on offense this year, so I like Iowa to win and cover the eight points. Nebraska and Purdue, this was an upset alert video. Uh, watch out for Nebraska. I think they've got a real shot in this game. Uh, and I think it'll be a really good football game. It'll be close either way. And I may just pull the trigger and say that Nebraska does win this football. How about Arkansas at Ole Miss? Two teams down there in the basement of the SEC West. Shea Patterson out for Ole Miss. Maybe Arkansas finally gets that win. Uh, I think it'll be close either way. Probably a high-scoring game. Should be a good one. Let's go now to uh, Vanderbilt at South Carolina. I like Van uh, South Carolina to win this game. I think they cover the spread as well. I think they win it by... Uh, more than seven. This one's on the SEC Network, Saturday, 4 o'clock Eastern. Uh, Vanderbilt's just not look good as of late. How about Missouri at UConn? Missouri, a 12-point favorite on the road. I think they win this one, and I think they cover. Uh, this one's on CBS Sports Network, Saturday at 6.30 Eastern. Missouri's been playing much better the last few weeks, ever since they had that good first half against Georgia. Uh, Tennessee at Kentucky. I think Tennessee maybe finally gets that win. They are just going to be so desperate for a win. Kentucky did not look good at all against Mississippi State last week. And perhaps they're a team that was a little overrated uh, because of, you know, they really haven't beat anybody at this, to this point. Cal at Colorado. I think Cal wins. I think they cover the spread Saturday, 2 o'clock Eastern. Colorado is not a good football team. Uh, yeah, I like Cal to cover, win by at least a touchdown. And then finally, we've got Utah at Oregon. This one is on the Pac-12 Network Saturday, 545 Eastern. Oregon, a three-and-a-half-point underdog at home, and I do like Utah to win this one and cover. Uh, Oregon's just not the same team without Justin Herbert. And Utah, they had a tough loss last week, but I think they bounced back and get a big win here. So that is it for this week's games. What do you think about this week's games? What are you looking forward to the most? What are your thoughts on any of these games? Go ahead and leave a comment down below uh, and just let your voice be heard. That's going to do it for this one. Thanks for watching. And stay tuned for more here on the SG1 Sports YouTube channel.